Yo, gotta make sure my hair's on point for this video, son. Bam! <sighs> okay, guys, I kind of failed. Not like super failed, but just kind of failed. Okay, so I guess you're probably wondering what I meant by I kind of failed. Well, I, this video is supposed to be dedicated to me making and 3D printing uh, a right, uh, right, a light ring for my uh, Lumix G7 here. Well, I did it. I made a light ring for my Lumix G7. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. Well, it fits perfectly on an X3, which is funny because I don't use this much anymore unless I'm just going around, walking around, doing stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another light ring, one that actually goes further around the entire uh, camera. Um, I'll show you guys pictures here and here of what it actually looks like on the Lumix uh, G7. Uh, I mean, it looks fine, but when you actually try to shoot with it, it doesn't work. Like, it doesn't fit around the lens correctly. And uh, after doing some research and talking to one of my buddies, Adam Topher, Troll Dixon, in other words, uh, he let me know that the light ring is actually supposed to go behind the lens. Um, I didn't know that because I didn't do a lot of research. Fail again. So what that means is, in the next video, I'll have that light ring in use, and uh, you'll better see it in action and whatnot. So what I'm going to do right now is show you guys the actual process it took for me to actually create and um, build the uh, 3D printed light ring that I did use. Um, this I, I think it's still a good product. It's still like a good design and everything else But like it's just too small for what I need So uh, I mean I think it would work well with like maybe like an iPhone to like go in there or like GoPro or something Or just maybe a smaller frame like lens just not the ones that I have so Anyway, here's the process So it's seven o'clock in the morning and I have to go to work So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my 3d printer started so by the time I get back from work the print's done. Okay guys, so I'll have to remove these pieces here. Uh, there. Yes, keep the tape intact so I have to change it. And yes, I know I'm not safe with the knife, but you know, don't use me as an example. Sweet. So that all came off right. Okay, so what I have to do next is I actually have to print the clear ring for the outside of uh, the actual ring deal here. So what I have to do is I have to change this filament out because obviously black's not going to work. No racial on that. 
So as this 3D prints back here, I'm going to do some chores around my room. I'm going to do a time lapse really just to test out the new camera. I'm kind of thinking that I want to 3D print and build a, uh, a Roomba or Roomba version of my own for my house. But I mean, it's kind of lazy because I actually like vacuuming, but it'd be a cool project, I believe. Tell me what you guys think in the uh, comment section below and I'll, you know, debate on it. Okay, so I've actually 3D prints done, and I've uh, gone ahead and I've actually printed more than one of these sets just because you know things could go wrong or whatever. If anyone wants one, just let me know. I could just send you one of the prints. You'll have to get the electronics one, not yourself, unless you want me to program it for you, and then you know we can talk about that. But anyway, now I have to get through the process of actually sanding these uh, prints down, so they're a little bit more smooth. It's really an aesthetic thing that you know just gets to me. I'll probably do a time lapse of all that because I don't think you guys want to see me sanding and doing all this other stuff. And then after that, I'll be soldering and everything else. Well, actually, of course, after all that, I'll be programming this thing. You know. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so I finished it and uh, looks like it works. So now I just have to do is put all this stuff back in the box and uh, we're ready to go. Awesome. Okay guys, you just got finished watching me failing at making this light ring correctly or making the correct light ring for my camera. Um, a lot of people look at this as a terrible thing, but the way I'm looking at it is it's a somewhat of a success because I've learned a lot from making the wrong light ring. I'm actually using this light ring on the C920 Logitech camera right here to film this part of this video, which, I mean, it's cool, whatever. But uh, anyway, learning from your failures is something that a lot of us need to do. You know, when I was younger, I used to you fail all the time, just like I fail all the time now. And uh, I wouldn't learn anything from it. But now as I've gotten older, I've learned that I need to learn from my failures. And something I've learned from this project is that uh, I learned how to program these boards in a particular way. I learned how to solder on things that were much smaller than I'm used to soldering on. And to me, I mean, that was worth it. I'm going to use that same knowledge to make the larger light ring. And um, I don't know, maybe you should apply that to your life. And I'm not trying to sound preachy if that's the way it's coming off. Because if it is... I'm sorry, another fail, I guess. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for showing up for my sixth vlog. Uh, next week, I'm actually going to be doing some stuff around town with Cheeks. I have to get my bike fixed. And that's, I'm going to show you guys some spots around Houston and whatnot. Anyway, I will see you guys next week. Peace.